want this. Make your text layer ready. Expand the text and click on the Animate button, select Scale. Then click on Add, Property, Position, and then Opacity. Change the Position Y-axis value to the size of the text, set Scale and Opacity to 0. Now expand the Range Selector, create a keyframe for Offset and set it to negative 100%. Move forward approximately 1 second and create another keyframe at 100%. Now go to Advanced and change the shape to Ramp Up. Also change Ease High to 50% and Ease Low to 50%. Now duplicate Animator 1 by pressing Ctrl plus D. Delete the Opacity property and change the scale to 150. Set the position to negative half of the font size. Also move the position offset keyframe approximately 10 frames ahead to get a smooth animation. Enable motion blur for even smoother animation. Make your text layer ready. Expand the text layer and animate tracking. Set the tracking amount to approximately the negative value of the text size. Then add property, opacity, and set the opacity to zero. Create a keyframe for start at 0% and approximately one second ahead set it to 100%. Then select both keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Also make sure you are using the speed graph and match the graph exactly. For even smoother results, enable motion blur, adjust the text so it is centered. Expand the text layer, click Animate, select Tracking. Then click Add Property, select Position and Opacity. Set the tracking amount to approximately the negative value of the text size. Change the Y value of the position to approximately half of the text size and set Opacity to 0. Create a keyframe for start at 0% and another approximately 30 frames ahead at 100%. Then select both keyframes, right-click, Keyframe Assistant, Easy Ease. Also make sure you're using the speed graph and adjust it accurately. For smoother animation, enable Motion Blur. Then create a black solid layer and pre-compose both the text and black solid layer. Create a mask layer to cover exactly half of the text. Now duplicate the layer and select the Invert Mask option. Select both layers and press P on your keyboard to bring up the position. Adjust the position as I am doing. Create another text layer and center it. at the bottom of the layer stack. Now create another black solid layer and repeat the same steps. 
Select all layers, then press U to reveal the keyframes. Select both keyframes, right-click, Keyframe Assistant, Easy Ease. Again, use the speed graph and match it precisely. Next, create an adjustment layer and apply the transform effect to it. Change the rotation value to approximately negative 8. To create a zoom effect, create a null object, then select all layers and link them to the null object. Select the null object, press S to bring up the scale option, and adjust it as I am doing. Select both keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Use the speed graph as well. Enable motion blur for an even smoother result. Make your text layer ready. Then apply the wave warp effect to the text layer. Change the wave width to 500. Hold ALT and click the stopwatch icon to bring up the expression tab and follow along with what I'm doing. Also enable motion blur for the text. Make your text layer ready. Then apply the turbulent displace effect. Change the size to 10 and set the mode to Turbulent Smoother. Expand Evolution, then hold ALT and click the stopwatch icon to open the Expression tab for Random Seed and follow what I am doing. Also enable Motion Blur for the text. Adjust the text so it is centered. Expand the text layer, click Animate, select Opacity, and set the opacity to zero. Expand Range Selector 1, then create a keyframe for start at 0%, and another approximately one second ahead at 100%. Go to Advanced Options, Expand It, and turn on Randomize Order. Create a keyframe for Random Seed at the beginning and another one one second later with a value of 25. Now duplicate the text layer and change its color to Outline Only. Change the second random seed keyframe value to 50. Also adjust both keyframe positions to get the desired effect. Expand the text layer, click Animate, select Character Offset. Create a keyframe for character offset at around 15 and another 30 frames ahead at zero. Change the scale value for the text as I am doing.
Now create a white solid layer above the text layer. Apply turbulent noise. Change the contrast to 1000. Hold alt -E and click on the Evolution stopwatch to bring up the Expression tab. Next, apply Mosaic below the turbulent noise. Set horizontal blocks to 1 and vertical blocks to 50. Enable sharp colors. Search for posterized time and apply it to the text layer. Set the frame rate to 8. Then search for displacement map and apply it above the posterized time effect. Adjust the settings as I am doing. all for today guys. Also check out my presets on my pay hip. Until then, goodbye. See you in the next video.